graffiti for me started in Craigie. 6025, rip it hard. Craigie changed daily. There's not many art galleries that change daily. It's obviously 6025, I mean, that's, that's what this is all about. It has started a postcode sort of thing in Perth, like that people start repping their postcodes more. Craigie's postcode is just this kind of signifier that there is this kind of localism and there is an identity. To us it's something and we are making it relevant because we are making it a suburb which has no relevance to anyone else and we providing them knowledge with the, the background history behind it and the whole reason for why we are who we are. The amount of history and integrity and, and truth in that neighbourhood is just, for me it's the only thing I know. You have to shut up, I'm having my gay interview. The purpose of this camping trip was to, I guess, investigate if the postcode could live out of where it's meant to be, which was in Craigie, in the northern suburbs. What Craigie had to offer, it was enough for us, and, and, we, and it's showing our appreciation of carrying these numbers. Like those numbers just look dope next to each other, like boom, 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 boom. I, I think taking it out of the neighbourhood and, and transferring it, it's, I guess, investigating or pushing the boundaries of, of where a postcode could be. And I guess it is, to a certain extent, extending the territory. I mean, it's just like putting a flag in somewhere else. It's not relevant at all. It makes no sense at all, unless you're a black person, you're repping hood through rap. But in your sense, I think you're more of a movement. Oh, kind of like Obey, how he did his thing, you know what I mean? He took something that was had a little bit of meaning and then he kept doing it to the point it was meaningless. But then kept going even further and it brought back a whole new meaning to it. And I think the same as 6025. At the start, to anyone that's unknown to our art, it's meaningless, it's just a bunch of numbers. Some will, sit, will obviously notice that, oh, okay, it's a postcode. But then when they go to do the um, homework behind it, it's a postcode that we represent for a reason. They're gonna wanna find out why. Looking for a day spot was like all I kind of wanted because like the ditch, in in Lou was it was good like don't get me wrong but it was nothing on Craigie. One of the only dudes that I went to high school with did, that did graph at the time was like, man, you don't know about Craigie, and I'm like, well, no. Nah. It just fucking opened up and it was just burning. It's like it was just an old, amazing like just I don't know. My mind was blown. The first time you painted Craigie was like, man, okay, am I going to get in trouble? And then the, the second time you painted Craigie, you just knew it was chill. It's interesting to hear the two different sides and two different individuals from the same, or representing a, a, a neighbourhood. One that has this absolute passion for the integrity of that suburb or side is about. It's, it's almost like it was Craigie that supported us and pushed us, you know, gave us the foundation by giving us a place to paint. And then having one individual, the other, just dismissive and disregard everything about that place. Craigie, I went down to the tavern today, it was disgusting, man. Everything about Craigie is shit and small and gross. It's the upboot capital of the northern suburbs. That's probably one of the major reasons for the postcode party, is to kind of hoist the flag up a little higher and just wave it so people can see and identify with a site that they probably have no connection with, that they just disregard as, as some northern suburb shithole. I hate Craigie, man. Craigie has the least doctors in all of Perth. Because Craigie was supposed to be one of those suburbs where, you know, it was just a bunch of roughnecks. Like, they poisoned kids the other day at the Craigie Leisure Centre, man, like. And I was gonna, me I was gonna message you, like, get your mum down, get her to have a swim, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Pat, that, that's just it, where it's, it's, it's a soulmates type of thing. We were meant to meet each other. We were meant to go down this journey and write up four numbers for the rest of our lives. That's, that's just unfortunately how it is. That's, I don't get to choose that.
I write 602 Fire because I enjoy being in your company. I like the camaraderie. You obviously pass the time that you're meant to be doing graffiti, but if you're gonna keep doing it, you might as well have friends to do it as well. And the fact that there, there was other like-minded people as well, that it sort of pushed the drive, and there was the competition, and everyone coming together, and, and you know, you know, you're rocking walls together and whatnot. And all this happened at Craigie, you know? And there was people from all parts of Perth slash all parts of the world came to Craigie to rock it there because it was, a, it was a good spot, you know? No, don't worry, there'll be another Craigie. There will be another Craigie. We just don't know it yet. It's like everything, like nothing's ever finished. It only just works in cycles. Noise you couldn't quite locate.